Hey everyone! It's me, Goku! Don't forget to subscribe to Unreal and Gaming. Here, you'll find the latest Dragon Ball news and content. Also, don't forget to like the video and follow Unreal on both Instagram and Twitter. Kakarot! You, Kakarot, you will be the first to turn on notifications. And give this video a like right now, or else I'll destroy you! So with Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 103 now officially in the history books, the titanic battle involving mastered Ultra Instant Goku and Beast Gohan continues to rage on on Beerus' planet, as with both warriors laying it all on the line and having to showcase their strongest levels of power against one another, the million dollar question now moving forward is which warrior between mastered Ultra Instant Goku and Beast Gohan is proven to be the superior warrior over the other, and what kind of revelation will our heroes get upon having to see Beast Gohan in action? following the initial events of showcasing his power against Goku. As a quick little reminder before we go any deeper into this video, if you just so happen to be new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then I do encourage for you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel, as well as making sure to go on over and smash that like button down below. And if you would like to learn more and catch up on all of the previous Dragon Ball Super manga chapters that have led us to this very moment in this story right now, then be sure to head on down into the description box below and check out the official Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapters playlist for tons of additional content and information. So with all that out of the way, I want to thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for your support, and now let's dive straight into the video. We kick off Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 103 with Beast Gohan now shown having to attack Mastered Ultra Instant Goku with Ultra Instant Goku being shown defending himself to where even with Gohan not shown giving up but instead having to go after his father and doing everything that he possibly could to land a hit on him, it was only shortly after having to resume their battle where Gohan was actually able to land a successful hit in knocking Goku down in which not only had resulted in sending Goku flying on down and crashing through the landscape and even going through several canyons and even through the entirety of one of Beerus's forests and having to barely hold on and clinging on to the ground to maintain his stability, but it also goes as far as to showcase the raw power behind Gohan's attacks and sending his father flying out this far, to where even after the fact with Goku's body shown flying outwards before Goku was able to stabilize himself and acknowledging Gohan was when Goku then went on to respond, wow you're good Gohan, incredible potential as always Goku says, and besides this time you've trained to make it your own and so you've changed a lot Gohan with Gohan responding, Yeah, well, it's all thanks to Piccolo, Dad. Oh, I see, Goku responds. However, I'm no slouch either given the amount of training that I've put in. In which upon Goku having to immediately go as far as to say this, with Gohan seemingly curious and a bit confused by what he had mentioned, it was only there where Goku had then began to levitate his body upwards by closing his eyes and seemingly getting ready to do something, to where even with Gohan having to look on and a bit curious by what his father is about to do with Goku being shown positioning his body, was where shortly after Goku was shown closing his eyes before having to suddenly open them and having to speed blitz right towards Gohan's direction, that was when Goku's words were finally now beginning to come into fruition as Goku had now gone as far as to speed blitz behind Gohan and kicking Gohan directly in the spine, which not only levied Gohan and being sent flying outwards, but Goku immediately went on hot pursuit by having to teleport right in front of Gohan again, and from that point showcasing tremendous and impressive amounts of speed to which Gohan could not possibly react to and 
so, it was immediately upon having to be shown getting in front of Gohan was when Goku was then shown double axe handling Gohan down into the lake below, which only had gone as far as to create that much more tension with Goku being shown on the surface and looking down by waiting to see what Gohan was going to do, as even in the waters below with Gohan shown having to be very focused and having to from that point then be shown appearing from out of nowhere behind Goku and doing everything that he possibly could to once again land another successful kick on him, but this time around, instead of having to acknowledge what Gohan was about to do, Goku instead had instinctively allowed for his body to move on its own, which not only goes as far as to demonstrate Goku's reaction time, but also his speed on top of this, but Gohan was not willing to let up whatsoever, so instead, what Gohan ended up doing was going back on the offensive and doing everything and anything he could to land another successful shot on Goku, but with Goku now shown having to dodge each and every single one of Gohan's strikes upon Broly, Whis, Beerus, and Vegeta being shown looking on was when Vegeta then went on to respond, that bastard Kakarot, his ultra instinct is steering the game in his favor, I see. Well, I guess there's indeed a gap in experience between the two after all, huh? In which this had only now proven to be the case with Gohan being shown again trying to strike Goku, with Goku now being the one having to kick Gohan in the face, because it was just upon Gohan being shown having to land on a nearby stump and having to acknowledge his father afterwards was when Gohan then went on to respond, I see. So this is the power of Ultra Instinct, huh? That's right, Gohan. When Mastered Goku responds, the body moves on its own, and so that's why no attack would hit, with Gohan responding, truly an amazing technique, Dad, just as I expected. But Beast isn't quite like that, Gohan ominously continues, as this was where the game-changing event was about to take place, because with Gohan now shown erupting by raising his energy up more and more and more and more, was when Goku had gone as far as to take notice of this because Gohan was now beginning to unleash his full power onto the surface, which was now starting to become a massive problem even for Goku upon having to see this as Broly even went as far as to chime in, a lot of energy is gathering, he says, as even with Gohan's body shaking and quivering under the tremendous pressure that he's putting his body through was when Vegeta then went on to chime back in, that huge massive key, can you control it all, Gohan? To which as Gohan was now beginning to pump out more power upon him being shown powering up, it was only just then upon Gohan then shown having to let out a ferocious roar where he was then shown having to make his way towards Goku, but it was only done in such a way that it also had gone as far as to demonstrate the difference in speed between what Gohan was then and what Gohan is now, as even Vegeta himself could not believe this upon having to see it just as much as Goku was surprised himself before barely being shown having to avoid Gohan's attack, as even with Goku left baffled by this with Gohan's attack being shown ricocheting off the ground and exploding out into the distance, this by no means did not slow Gohan down, but only had then forced him in having to attack Goku yet again, only interestingly enough with Goku now shown having to put his guard up and having to defend himself from Gohan's attack, the sheer force of Gohan's attack alone was enough to create shockwaves all throughout the landscape and even going as far as to push Goku back, but with Gohan once again being shown having to resume his assault on Goku in trying to attack him with Goku yet again shown dodging each and every single one of his attacks, was when the battle itself was now beginning to become that much more dangerous and that much more intense than how it was shown being before, but it also now, despite with Beast Gohan being at full power, and yes, Gohan now was indeed at full power in doing whatever he could to try to get the best of his father, had only further demonstrated how fast Goku actually was by comparison to Beast Gohan because you can see it upon both of their expressions that Gohan was really, really trying to land a heavy shot on Goku, whereas Goku was doing everything that he possibly could to make sure that he was able to avoid these strikes upon Gohan being shown slowly catching up to him, because as we then began to see how Gohan was beginning to graze Goku's ribs, he had then began to graze his face, despite Goku being shown avoiding everything with Gohan unable to actually touch him, there became a point in time where Gohan was now beginning to slowly catch up with even Beerus and Whis having to notice this, to which upon Gohan then being shown seizing his opportunity and finding an opening to land a successful shot on Goku's stomach, was where this had now become a very pivotal moment in the fight between the two because as soon as Gohan was then shown kicking Goku away was when even the others upon having to see this such as Broly and Gotenks were left baffled by this and seeing Goku's body crash throughout the landscape yet again not only were all of the spectators left baffled by what they were seeing but even Vegeta himself went on to then chime back in he went past the evasive speed of ultra instinct that's right there you have it dad Gohan says to which as Goku was then shown zipping on up and having to re-emerge was when Goku was then shown shockingly enough having to revert back down to his base form by rubbing his face
face and responding, Ouch, 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 ouch! Ooh, what the hell was that just now, Gohan? Well, just as I was about to go berserk, Gohan responds, I raised my key and controlled it. Well, kinda. Wait, about to go berserk, Goku questions, and then controlled it? Currently, this is the only way that I can draw out the max power of this form, Beast Gohan responds, to which as Goku was then shown jumping right back into Mastered Ultra Instinct was when Goku then went on to respond, was when Goku then went on to respond, oh, I get it now, okay, so you've got a lot on your mind, huh? To which as Gohan and Goku were then shown once again resuming was when Beerus went on to then chime in, Whis is Son Goku's son a Super Saiyan, with Whis responding, well, no, it seems a bit different actually, and well, however, I will say that it's not a divine technique either, and apparently he is specially gifted, this Gohan is. Sorry to bother, Lemo went on to then respond, but would you two like some juice? Well, thank you very much, Whis responds. Hey, you guys want to drink too? Lemo went on to then ask Carmine and 15. Oh, th thank you so much, 15 responds. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it, Carmine says. All right, and you too, Broly, Lemo questions, but Broly was not responsive, but instead, Broly was now seemingly more enamored at the overall battle involving Gohan and Goku, specifically enamored with Gohan because upon Broly being shown having to watch this was when Broly then went on to utter, wow, I didn't know that such a guy existed, in which moreover during the middle of battle as Goku was shown having to defend himself and glancing on over and noticing Broly down on the ground was when Goku had then gone as far as to dodge Gohan's attack by from that point then being shown force blowing Gohan away as Gohan went on to land back on his feet right before attacking as Goku went on to then stop Gohan by then responding, and all right, all right, all right, that's it, I've seen enough of your strength, Gohan, and it's really awesome, Goku continues upon being shown powering back down. Gohan, only you could have gotten this far in one fell swoop, and you did a great job, Goku continues. Earth is now in safe hands, even when I'm not there, with Gohan uttering, Father, you still have some strength left in you, right, Gohan? Goku questions? Uh, yeah? Well, there's one more guy that I'd like you to fight, okay? Uh, okay. Now you wait there, alright? Hey, Broly, you want to fight Gohan for a while, don't you? With a surprise, Broly responding, uh-huh, really? Me? Which, funny enough, back with Carmine in 15, with Carmine then shown opening his door and having to address Gotenks was when Carmine then went on to ask, um, hey, can we leave now? Which side is West City? Well, well, you can't leave by car because, well, we're on another planet. Uh, another planet, 15 utters? Which, moreover, with Goku now shown returning to Vegeta and having to then address him was when Vegeta then went on to respond, are you sure? No winner, no loser, with Goku responding, well, it was never about winning against Gohan, you know? I just wanted to go and test his strength, and I'm glad to have more to look forward to, actually. So tell me, do you expect that from Broly as well, Vegeta questions, with Goku responding, well, I don't know. And well, besides, I feel like they're kind of similar somehow, you know, Gohan and Broly. Indeed, Vegeta responds upon Broly and Gohan then shown having to bow before engaging. Broly, in fact, does give off that beast vibe, now doesn't he, Vegeta questions. Yeah, and I hope that he goes and finds something to trigger it, which as Ultimate Gohan was then shown fighting base Broly, this was in fact now the first time that Gohan and Broly, DBS Broly, mind you, were ever shown having to interact within the Dragon Ball Super series, to where even with Gohan shown having to block off Broly's attacks before having to address him was when Gohan then went on to respond, Broly, I've heard that you're a very impressive fighter, with Broly uttering, show it to me. Show me that beast form from earlier, with Gohan responding, oh, Alright then, you asked for it. To which upon Broly being shown having to miss one of his strikes before Gohan was shown leaping on back and jumping in the sky and having to spin and then being shown transforming back into his beast form, as Broly was looking on in absolute amazement, he could not believe as to what he was seeing, but even then with Beast Gohan then shown making his way down before having to collide into Broly by punching him, it had only now become very clear that by no means did Broly have any sort of chance in matching Beast Gohan in combat, because it was even just just as Broly went on to block off Beast Gohan's strike with Broly's entire body being shown shaking was when Broly then went on to utter he heavy. But Gohan was not done because with Gohan then shown punching Broly away before having to be on hot pursuit and chasing him down by punching him again, it was only just when Gohan was then beginning to land several more heavy attacks with Broly being shown in absolute pain was when the tides were now clearly in Gohan's favor and having to drop Broly before everyone's eyes as Broly had then struggled to stand back up with Vegeta then having to ask, now, what's next, Broly? To which as Broly was then shown having to notice Gohan approaching him was when all of a sudden 
and that was when Broly began to power up once again similar to that of the DBS Broly movie as Gohan didn't know what to expect because with Broly now transforming himself and being also shown knocking Gohan back before Goku and Vegeta had words to say was when Goku then went on to utter out oh I knew that he'd go berserk no Vegeta says look to which this time around something different was beginning to occur with Broly as he was only from that point then shown kind of smiling before immediately then being shown taking charge in attacking Gohan over and over and over again which at that point we also understood within the manga that Broly's green hair transformation that we've seen in the film is not yet introduced within the actual manga but it was only just upon shockingly enough with Broly being shown attacking Gohan was when from out of nowhere we then spot pupils beginning to form on Broly's eyes as Broly had now seemingly controlled his Super Saiyan form with Goku then having to utter whoa he's a Super Saiyan but not with the white eyes this time well that worked out he went Super Saiyan and made it his own with Gohan responding what amazing power it's unlike anyone's Super Saiyan form that I've seen before well now thanks to Gohan Broly now seems to have achieved some growth Whis adds with Beerus responding he's only managed to become a Super Saiyan Whis son Goku's son seems to have better control over his powers than he does which interestingly enough back over with Gohan and Broly with Gohan being shown swinging Broly around over and over and over again before being shown having to toss him out into the distance and completely destroying Beerus's tree was when Whis then went on to question tell me something so does that make him another candidate for the next god of destruction with Beerus responding no not him he's the serious type and so he wouldn't resort to destruction well you are correct Whis responds but even then as the fight becomes that much more intense with Vegeta being shown looking on very annoyed was when Vegeta then went on to shout oh hey it's time that you let me go and fight too Gohan fight me you've had enough with Broly already and so fight me with Gohan responding wait a minute why does everyone just want to go and fight me all of a sudden with Trunks responding well then how about we go and fight Broly then instead huh with Broly responding uh oh, oh okay which only from that point had then prompted Trunks Goten and Vegeta to be shown dashing on in with Goku being shown left behind as Goku then went on to shout w what the hell oh, well then count me in too then damn it wait to which seconds later with Goku then shown having to dash towards the midst of chaos as interestingly enough if you pay attention to Vegeta and Gohan instead of turning into Ultra Ego it almost now appears as though Vegeta is fighting using Super Saiyan Blue while Goten and Trunks are fighting Broly in base which had only then prompted in Goku showing up from out of nowhere and having to scream in everyone's face as Whis went on to then respond oh my goodness oh I can't bear to look at this anymore Beerus went on to then chime in these Saiyans she lied chimes in I can never understand them I swear ouch you hit me go Ten Trunks went on to then shout oh, I didn't know it was you Trunks to which even then as this massive battle royale was shown having to happen on Beerus's planet for X amount of time later on we get to see how everyone was laid out on the ground exhausted tired and beaten as Goku then went on to respond wow that was a wild fight now wasn't it yeah Gohan responds it's been a while since I went this far too all right well I guess we better get going then Goku says with Lemo then shouting hey I made enough food for everyone so come on eat it before you all go home to which moments later as everyone was then shown having to do so not only was everyone shown having to eat at the same time but they also went as far as to invite 15 and Carmine as well as Goku then went on to ask uh, so who are you guys anyway with Gohan being shown responding with a mouthful of pasta by then uttering they're from the red ribbon army what's that Vegeta responds well maybe they're up to something evil again so I'm keeping my eyes on you no 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 way we actually came to apologize for the other day oh are you sure Goten and Trunks went on to casually respond upon Whis being shown restoring the planet to which a little later on after everyone was done eating food with Carmine 15 Trunks and Goten being shown entering into the car as Goku went on to address Vegeta was when Goku then went on to chime back in well I'm taking these guys back to earth but I guess that you and I should go home too for a while huh with Vegeta responding you're right and so I better get home or Bulma will forget about me with Goku then 
and continuing Beerus, we see ya! I'll make sure to go and come back soon, okay? With Beerus uttering, yeah, don't come back. Well then, someone besides Gohan who has great key is... Piccolo! Alright then, let's go! To which, as Goku was then shown using instant transmission and having to teleport near Piccolo, was when Goku then went on to shout, Yo, Piccolo! Long time no see! Goku, what's with you guys all of a sudden? Ugh, it's you! You guys never learn, do you? With 15 and Carmine responding, N -n -n No, it's nothing like that! Um, it is, hey, is this Earth? This is Earth, right? With Goten responding, yeah, you're right, this is Earth. All right, time to go, time to go now, Carmine shouts. Start the car quick and let's go! To which that was exactly what 15 ended up doing because with the two them being shown having to start up the car and driving off by them being shown apologizing was when Piccolo then went on to respond, Samuro, what's with these guys? What, Piccolo asks. Oh, it's true, Goku utters. You're indeed different from the Piccolo that I've seen. Well, yeah, Piccolo responds with Goku then questioning, can I test your new skills for once, Piccolo? Well, not now, Goku. I'm going to go pick up Pan with Gohan now. Uh, Pan? And this went on to surprise everybody because with Goku unaware as to who exactly Pan was, was when Vegeta then went on to shout, This is the worst! She's your granddaughter, remember? Oh, yeah, you're right, Goku says. Yeah. Oh, Goku, as punishments, you're coming with me to go pick her up, alright? Oh, of course, Goku says says. To which, interestingly enough, when then going back to Carmine and 15, in noticing how they also had a change of heart upon having to be on Beerus's planet was when Carmine then went on to respond, No more Red Ribbon Army, you got that? Uh, right, right, Sir 15 says. After all, Carmine continues, we wouldn't make a single zenny by conquering the world, and so from now on, I'm going to stop doing useless things and only focus on developing drugs, and so let's do this. To where moreover, on a much brighter side, when then going back to Gohan and Piccolo from there and having to be shown picking up Han from school, Han was absolutely delighted upon having to see her father in jumping right into Gohan's arms. However, even while in Gohan's arms, she couldn't help but happen to notice Goku and having to then be shown letting go by pointing out and asking about who he was. It was only before either Gohan or Piccolo could go as far as to explain to Pan as to who this individual was, where Pan had decided to take initiative and take action by her own accord in quickly teleporting in attempts to attack Goku herself Himself, as even before Goku could go as far as to say hi himself, he also had then quickly noticed that Pan was on the move in attempting to strike him, so what Goku ended up doing instead was in a very lighthearted and touching moment, Goku went on to block off Pan's strike, with Goku then shown turning his head and smiling, as this in and of itself was enough to make Pan realize as to who exactly Goku was as Pan began to smile herself, to which even then with both Gohan and Piccolo also shown smiling at this wholesome moment before Goku was shown getting down on the floor with Pan and getting ready to take off, you can also immediately tell that Gohan did not know as to what Pan and Goku were about to do before having to be shown taking off into the distance as Gohan quickly went on to follow, because with Gohan trying to play catch up and with Piccolo shown turning around and smiling before having to wave and also taking flight and having to catch up with the others, it was only right then and there now during that moment where Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 103 then comes to a close. Now, this was without a shadow of a doubt one of the most insane chapters that we have gotten in quite some time with in the Dragon Ball Super manga, and to go as far as to see what had transitioned involving Gohan and his beast power, and having to not only take on his father at full power as well, but to also see the end result of what was shown taking place involving Broly, and having Broly also master and control his Super Saiyan power as well, so with the Dragon Ball Super manga now going on a brief hiatus following the unfortunate and late passing of Dragon Ball's creator Akira Toriyama, one could only go as far as to speculate if Toriyama had left any notes behind in terms of guidance and moving this story on forward because this chapter in fact was the actual conclusion to the entirety of the Dragon Ball Super superhero story so whether we now end up moving towards the end of Z and finally having Goku meet Oob or if we do something involving Black Frieza and giving us some sort of a Black Frieza arc you can make no mistake about the fact that the upcoming manga chapter which will be that of chapter 104 is bound to introduce what is going to take place officially after the events of the superhero story so even with that said what I would like to do now is get your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to three specific questions with that being question number one on 
a rating scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being absolute trash and with 5 being phenomenal, what would you guys rank Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 103 and why? Question number 2 is among all of the individuals that were shown battling on Beerus' planet, how and where would you guys rank the following characters from top to bottom from strongest to weakest involving Broly, Gohan, Vegeta, Goku, Goten, and Trunks? And lastly, question number 3 is what kind of a story do you guys expect for us to get next, whether that be the end of Z, a Black Frieza arc, perhaps maybe even something different? I want to go on ahead now and get your thoughts as to what potentially you guys may look forward to in the upcoming arc following the events of superheroes because the entirety of this overall situation that happened on Beerus's planet was not only great to see but the only thing that I wish we had gotten was for whatever reason Vegeta did not go as far as to go into his ultra ego form which I think is something that a lot of us were hoping to see because for him to jump into Super Saiyan Blue whether that be Evolution Blue or Perfected Blue it was still a little weird to see but what I think was phenomenal was seeing the way Goku had battled against Gohan and to see Gohan go as far as to swap hands with everybody I think was a really good calling and so for this manga chapter to be Akira Toriyama's final piece of work assuming that this is minus of course Daima and several other things then I think this was the proper way for us to end off the arc especially if we're going to be moving on ahead with the story and so rest in peace to the legendary greatest mangaka artist of all time Akira Toriyama there will never be another like Toriyama ever again and so hopefully the team behind Dragon Ball including Toyotaro end up carrying Dragon Ball into a better place but with that we're gonna have to wait and see what the future holds so once again thank you all so much for watching everybody thank you all so much for your time to which once again if you also just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love dragon ball then i do encourage for you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button on top of making sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below tune back in for more thank you all so much for watching and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video take it easy everybody and have a great day peace hello did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.